Hi, it's Steve here from Edible Estates. Um, we're in the uh, the garden now and seeing all of this uh, great growth and uh, our um, vegetables ready to be harvested. Um, so first up, I thought I'd take you through the harvesting of potatoes. Now, uh, potatoes, of course, come in three main types. Uh, you have your earlies, your second earlies, and your main crop. Uh, earlies tend to be the salad potatoes um, that grow uh, quickly, up to about 12 weeks, and they're ready uh, when you see the, uh, the plants flower. You see the flowers here. Um, these early or second early potatoes are harvested when they're about the size of a, a hen's egg and uh, are used uh, mainly for sort of like salad purposes. Uh, then the, uh, the main crops, um, we wait until the shawls uh, start yellowing and dying and they can really remain in the ground um, up until say mid-October, something like that. Um, you don't have to harvest them straight away. Um, they, they are fine to stay in the ground. Uh, but these, of course, are earlies, um, and with the flowers there, we're going to start digging them up now. So when you're digging potatoes, one of the things you want to remember is not to damage your potato. Um, when you start doing this, invariably you'll start spearing them with your fork or slicing them with your spade. Um, so just be mindful of that when you start digging them up. So. I tend to sort of like really gently try and ease the fork into the ground. Then lift and pull the, the tops of the potatoes. So like I say, the potatoes, uh, we like them about that size for early and uh, new potatoes. So we're going to pull um, all of these um, potato tops out um, and when we're digging, remember that we've been earthing these uh, potatoes up so the uh, potatoes are growing quite deep in the ground at this point. Um, so probably go down maybe half again as deep as the, uh, the, the depth of the fork. And one final thing to remember when you're uh, digging potatoes is to try and be as thorough as possible and get out all of the potatoes that have grown. Uh, what we don't want to do um, next year is to come into this bed and sew it up with a different crop and then find lots of potato shoots coming through from potatoes that have been left in the ground from the previous uh, growing season. Uh, so after you think you've got all of your potatoes out, try and go over it one last time. and sift through for the ones that you might have forgotten previously. Okay, so um, we're beginning to get a nice uh, crop here of, uh, of potatoes. Um, but uh, one thing we uh, need to be on the lookout for as we're um, harvesting them is slight defects. Um, now you might find little holes in your potatoes and quite frequently um, if that happens then it's that little guy that's responsible that's a wire worm you know potentially you might get some uh, some rotting uh, going on obviously we don't want to keep uh, potatoes like that you might also get um, some green patches 
there's a little small one that's uh, just starting to go green um, now those potatoes are fine to use um, you just want to cut the the green bit out uh, it's uh, slightly toxic um, so just uh, cut that out but it, you don't have to get rid of the whole of the potato um, again you might find yourself with a bit of uh, slug damage where um, you know you have uh, some holes in the uh, in the potato um, again you know you can just cut that out um, but still use the potato equally if you do stab them uh, with your um, fork or your spade yeah it's no great shakes um, you're not really damaging the potato other than by the look of it um, so any of the uh, damage like uh, um, damage done by a fork or a spade or um, yeah, a bit of greening just use the uh, the potatoes um, as soon as possible uh, cutting out the damaged bits um, if there is uh, a bit of rot in the in the potato if you can stick your finger in it obviously you don't want to be using ones like that so unfortunately they just uh, will have to be discarded okay so now we're going to be looking at harvesting uh, the tatties out of a grow bag um, these are um, early uh, potatoes um, so um, they've already flowered um, the flower has, uh, has died away so they're ready to be harvested um, and really when you've got a, a container or, or a, a grow bag it's just a case of dumping everything out and seeing what we've got so first up let me just pull away the top can go into the compost so here we go and this was grown finally got all that out that was just an old compost bag that we've uh, grown these uh, potatoes in and here we can see we're getting a nice little crop of potatoes so yeah this uh, was the original seed potato as you can see it's uh, pretty much uh, beginning to disintegrate now um, you know it will be obvious um, if, you, if you pick it up um, quite often they uh, they're pretty much hollow by the uh, the time you come to harvest versus the uh, the new potatoes so yeah here we go with our yield um, from the grow bag uh, it's probably about maybe 300 grams something like that of uh, potato there which is a little bit disappointing um, from a grow bag um, we'd be expecting something closer to a kilo of, of potatoes so that wasn't a great result um, previously where we've uh, dug from our beds um, we've been getting some really good results this year with you know up to about uh, 20 pounds um, of potatoes for every sort of like 10 foot of, um, of plants um, so yeah I guess it's a case of some of you win some of you lose um, with the potatoes in the grow bag not doing quite as well as the potatoes in the ground so once you've harvested the potatoes then um, you can keep them uh, for up to about six months as long as you uh, remember a few um, good rules those are that uh, potatoes if you're storing them need to be kept dry cool and in the dark um, so you could store them uh, something like this a hessian sack is absolutely perfect um, what you do is just let them dry for a couple of hours after you've harvested them you don't need to wash them um, and uh, put them in a, a sack um, or in a cardboard box something like that um, and just put them in a place that's going to be cool and dry um, and uh, cool uh, dry and dark as well so um, make sure that you cover them up um, what you often find especially potatoes bought from the supermarket is that they're um, stored in plastic bags that's really not ideal and that's why quite often you'll see the potatoes sprouting the other thing to remember 
when you are storing them is that only store good potatoes. Uh, if there's any sort of like slug damage or any rot or anything like that, then do not store the potatoes. Just store a potato that is in, in good condition and is not damaged. Um, some that maybe have been um, damaged by a fork or a spade you might get away with, but um, really you just want to be keeping your, your perfect potatoes um, for storage.